Hi guys! Hi! This is Simon and this is Judy and together we're gonna talk to you <laughs> about what? So today we're gonna talk to you about how to grow an attitude of gratitude and, and why it's so important of course. So what is it about that gratitude thing? What is gratitude by the way? Gratitude is when you feel grateful for what's in your life and you're not always trying to think about what you haven't got, you're thinking about what you have got. Exactly, very good point. The focus on more on the, on the positive, right? Yes. So taking the focus off the negative and start looking at what you can actually have and grow more. Yeah. Because that's what, what it's about, right? So when you uh, just focus on, on the, the things that you have in your life, automatically you put more energy to something good and where you put your energy to, that will automatically grow. Yes. So. And one way that you can build an attitude of gratitude is building up a daily habit of thinking about what you have got. So maybe write this down every day, possibly in the morning or in the evening. Just think about the things that you've got in your life and um, just it doesn't have to be a long drawn out affair it can be a short little journal so write down a couple yeah. of points maybe three things every day that you're really grateful for and have a daily journal and build a habit about this and over time you'll feel grateful every day yeah it's uh, it's very strong and uh, yeah in the morning uh, you're usually the freshest right so in the morning uh, and I, I'd even say uh, before you check any uh, social media, I think, because that's uh, where you uh, get up and where, where you are so relaxed and at ease and you're still not downloaded with all the, uh, with all the, the rest of the world. Yes. So uh, this is where you're still truly you. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, just as a side note, things like social media or your phone, social media, this can often really um, cloud your thinking in the morning if you just go on straight away. So I, I would recommend Julianne's, what Julianne's saying is very true, is just probably leave your phone for at least the first half an hour or hour uh, because you're just going to get distracted very easily by these things. That's right, and then overwhelmed sometimes. And, uh, and your focus is not on what, uh, what it should be, on yes. the positive, because it's like, uh, like you know, a wormhole. Yeah. Uh, it's the snowball effect yeah. where you get from, you jump from one negative to the next negative. Because often a lot of the things that you'll see on your phone, um, they are unfortunately negative. It might be, or things that are going to stress you out, like an email from your boss saying, oh, why didn't you do this, or you've got to do this today. Mm -hmm. So try and start your day with a very positive outlook and gratitude is one of the best things for this. Yeah, and why actually? I mean, um, it m might look selfish um, or seem selfish why you should do this, but, um, but it's all about vibration. So gratitude is, um, is shifting your vibration yeah. and it's raising it actually, yeah. but in, in a positive way. Same as uh, we sometimes uh, uh, lower our vibration uh, not on purpose mm -hmm. sometimes, but um, um, we automatically do that because that's what uh, human beings tend to do. But um, uh, when we get aware of that we are maybe a, li a little bit more in the negative, then uh, we can say, stop, I gotta do my gratitude so I can shift again to the positive. So um, yeah, that's then raising your vibration and, uh, and your um, altering your mindset. Definitely, and sometimes you might get into this, say if you're having a bad day, you might suddenly start thinking, oh, my life is terrible, I've got nothing to be grateful for, but it doesn't have to be something huge, like maybe you haven't got the, the fancy car that you want or the amazing job yet, but just think about everything you do have, even if it's just a roof over your head, food in your fridge, some friends and family, a job, these things, they might seem basic, but actually to many people in the world, these are absolutely massive things that unfortunately millions of people aren't even, don't even have the luxury of having these things. So before thinking of all these things you don't have, think about these, they're not basic, but basic things. And 
realize that you have so much actually and you've got so much to be grateful for definitely yeah and now for the christmas season uh, that we're in <laughs> uh, even more uh, even if it's not a perfect uh, setting and never uh, something is totally perfect uh, just be grateful for uh, maybe having still family members that are maybe a little overwhelming sometimes and awkward but yeah. be grateful to have them in your life and uh, sometimes it's uh, a learning opportunity as well um, learning from uh, uh, weird behavior or uh, weird situations and um, maybe a little bit challenging situations that can uh, strengthen your personality as well definitely and on that note we'd like to wish you a merry christmas and send a lot of love to you <laughs> love out everyone peace guys and if you have any comments we'd love to hear them below has gratitude entered your life or do you use it to help yourself and have a more positive outlook on life yeah and uh, how do you practice it how um, what are your habits to do it and if you haven't already of course subscribe hit that like button and share this video with anybody you think is find it useful to bring more gratitude into their life and thanks thanks for watching guys Peace. love out <laughs>